to Damien Reacts. I'm back with a Dharma video for you guys tonight. Um, if you guys hear, hear fireworks in the background, that's because today is Victoria Day. So, it's not gunshots or anything like that, in case that's what you guys are thinking. I don't know if Victoria Day is also in the US. I know, I think, I think Victoria, uh, I know it's, it's Victory Day. Victoria Day is a federal Canadian public holiday, so I don't think that you guys have this. If you guys are watching from, from the States, like today I was off from work because today's a holiday, so I was at work today. I look you want to be watching them. I'll probably watch them after I watch this video. So, watch some fireworks, walk around for a few minutes, and I really got a shower. I was just at the gym in case you guys are wondering why I'm all gross. I was just at the gym. Fuck. The grind is real. <laughs> Starting. I was gonna paranoid with that shit. Okay. Man fakes as sh as soldier for money. He lives to regret it. Darman. So how do you fake as a soldier? Like how do you okay. It's 12, 12 minutes 33 seconds. Let's see if this is based on a true story. It's inspired by by a true story. I was actually joking. I was like, there's no way it's gonna, gonna, gonna be a true story. It's a true story. Okay. Okay, Darman, I see you. And then you better have a freaking explanation at the end because ha half the time you don't even quote the true story in the back and I'm like what the fuck's the true story bitch like I want to know anyways let's go guys so, uh, sorry for the early swearing Hoo -ah. huh? I was in the army too right out of high school how about you oh yeah yeah same here where were you stationed <laughs> he's like yeah yeah I was in Fort Bragg he's like um, yeah same place <laughs> Quantico yeah Quantico isn't that a marine corps base uh you know it's a special unit you know what? I actually gotta do my thing, so, uh, excuse me. Okay. Yeah, how do you even. Can I get a check, please? How, how do you even fake it being a soldier for money? Like, I don't understand how that works. Right but okay. Thank you. Dad, what's up with this? I'm Oz. Nice to meet you. Drake. Damn. He, oh, he really don't care, does he? Oh, it's Jay, isn't it? Oh, it's Jay. I love Jay. Did you like it? No, but something off about him. He said he was in the army, but then he said he was stationed at a marine base. Maybe it was just a misunderstanding. No, I don't know about that. That's Plus, like, yeah, it's a pretty big thing. Like, why do you care so much? Like, why do you, like, do you, is, is, is it really your business to care that much? Like, I, I don't know anything about the army, but like. It's a pretty big thing to get wrong. What reason does he have to lie about being in the army? Good news, sir. It looks like that nice couple over there offered to pay for your lunch. Really? Did they, um, they use a credit card yet? Not yet. Why? You think you can add a cheeseburger and fries on it to go? Uh, sure. I'll just double check with them first. Oh, no, no. <laughs> we ain't gonna do that. Hey, thank you guys so much. Are you sure you want to cover this? Hey. Let's see. So, he's speaking as a soldier. For others to pay him. Like, I thought he was going to, like, uh... I, yeah, I was gonna say, how do you go in the army, pretend to be in the army, and then, like, get paid by the army if you're not actually in the army? But I guess that, that that's what... But do do pe people actually do this? Just, like, pay for random soldiers? It makes sense, but, like, does that really happen? Damn, okay. Well, it's kind of grimy and slimy just to fake doing that just to get money. Like, fuck you. I'll be back with your to-go order. That's not okay. We just wanted to say... Thank you for your service. Yeah, we come here once a month to treat ourselves since it have a senior discount. So we figured we'd skip next month in order to pay for today. You guys are so nice. Thank you so much. It's our pleasure. You know, those social security checks are not what they used to be, but we don't care. We love to do that. Yeah. Anything for the country. Miles, let it go. Okay, we're here to have a good time. Yeah, you know, like, I don't know why, why he cares so much. Like, it's not your business. Like, I get you're in the army, too, but, like, chill. Come on, why won't you it? Can't stop thinking about it. It doesn't sit right with me. Well, he's gone. There's nothing we can do about it now. So let's just let it go. No, but it's not fair. Like, why should he get all this special treatment when, when we had all... Hey, look, can I try? Sure. Yes. Can I try? Yeah. He looks just like my brother when he was Jimmy's age. Yeah. You know, we both dreamed about being race car drivers. <laughs> I know it's silly, but we're younger. We thought we could be anything. Yeah, twenty great. So. Wow. 
What was that? I know that look in your eye. Whatever you're thinking, don't. I'll be right back. <laughs> Miles? Look, Mom, it's the last one. This is perfect. I'm, I'm sorry to pause. 25% uh, of a veteran discount, I see. So again, that, that's what he means by money, like because he, he's a soldier, people obviously treat him with respect and everything, and then people pay him and stuff like that, so that's what he means by money. So now it makes sense to me, but how is he gonna bust him though? Like, how is he gonna bust, like, now I'm really curious. Um, it's good that he's trying to do that, but. To get that. Sorry. Yes, but can't you see the nice man wants to get it too? Yeah, but you said you were getting that for me for my birthday. I know, but. But he's a veteran. He protected our country. He yeah, I'm so sure he did. Serves it more. Sorry. Here you go. You're telling me there's only one left? No. And thank you for your service. No. Thank you. Mm. Hey, hello hey. there. <laughs> All right. Uh, 2278 dollars. Uh, actually, I don't have that much. This uh, discount over here, does it still apply? You're right. Can't believe I almost forgot. All right, let's... I don't know what 25% off would be, but, like, don't you have to show some kind of proof? Like, if there's a discount or anything like that, then there has to be some kind of proof. Like, anybody could just wear the army vest and be like, how's the army, fam? I forget our country. Like, fuck you. You know you didn't do shit. Like, you know what I mean? Like, hmm. People that fake that shit. And this is based on a true story. That's what makes me mad. Hmm. But there has to be some kind of ID proof or something. Like, like does he have a fake badge or something? See, Some kind of fake shit. Twenty-five percent off. That makes it one thousand seven hundred and eight dollars and fifty cents. And what's your proof? Fire in the army. <laughs> and what's your proof? I'm sorry, but if you're paying with hundreds, I won't have enough change in the till. The store's been struggling, so we don't have that much cash. Does fives work? Great. You know, a lot of my family was in the army. Thank you for your service. Is that right? Well, Tama said, hoo Don't you mean hoo hoo the Navy, right? Um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much what I said. Uh, so hey, he's just uh, kind of exposing himself. Thanks for the laptop. Yeah, and where's the proof? And did you even, 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 even pay the guy? And where's your fucking ID, bitch? I need to see proof that you're actually in the army. Now, he's already skeptical. I'm glad this guy's gonna bust him, otherwise he would keep going. Hey honey, where's Jimmy? He's in the arcade. So the guy over there, he just got hundreds of dollars off of a brand new laptop, and this business is struggling. What's your point? My point is, He's if he has it. enough cash to buy a brand new laptop, then why did he let that pro couple buy his meal? I don't know. Maybe he wanted them to feel good for doing something nice for him. He doesn't even know the Army's battle cry. He doesn't even know where he was stationed, and his uniform's all wrong. He's not doing something nice. He's taking advantage of me. Miles? Listen. So he's already on to him. Get Th Let's that is go. true. That is true. That's the only, only thing I'm saying. Look, look over. He's using his uniform to flirt with her. Oh, thanks. You know, I did two tours over the course of six years. Wow. That's impressive. He used to want to go into the army when I was younger, you know, to help make a difference. But then I changed my mind. Now I like to do my part more... Locally. Oh. How'd you get that? Oh, my purple heart? Yeah. Oh, I got that in Afghanistan. No way. Yeah, I, uh, I was hit while saving a little girl from the enemy. Oh my god. I'm sorry, give me a moment. It's just, I almost lost my life. Like, it took me years to recover. I, I hate when people scam like this. They're just trying to be insane. Like, you're like, I'm sorry, give me a second. Like, honestly, like, like for real, for real, that would honestly be traumatized. That would be hard. But the fact that he's faking, crying, and like being a little bitch. Oh, I hate that so much. But the most important part was that I got that little girl home by the night. <sighs> so it was all worth it. Mm, that's I'm sure it was. So brave of you. Uh huh. You know, <laughs> that's just one story that I have. You know, maybe you would like to hear more over some coffee? Sure. Yeah. Here, put your number in my phone. And now he's taking advantage of her. I'm not gonna let him get away with this. Miles, no. No. Miles, Damn. Don't. What's he gonna? Yeah, but like you have to prove it though. Like what? Like like what if he actually was a real army person? Obviously, he would know the battle cry. He would know where he was stationed. He would know everything about it. 
but because he doesn't know anything, I guess that's why he's kind of like sus about him, which he is right. Obviously, this is based on a true story, and he is obviously right about his his uh, his suspicions. But how are you going to prove it? How are you going to expose him, though? Let's just watch and find out. I'm sorry to disappoint you, miss. This man is not in the armed forces. Trust me. Hey, man. Leave us alone. I'm in the middle of something. Yeah, what are you talking about? He looks like a soldier. He even has a purple heart. So, leave us alone. Let me ask you this. What's the army motto? Girl, that's easy. It's, I want you wrong. What's the soldier's creed? Man, I don't know. It's been a while. This is my rifle. I have many like it. And if you're wrong again. Also, why are you wearing a purple heart? Because I'm Where's your combat patch? Why is the flag on your shoulder so low? Your uniform is out of regulation. Whatever, man. Just leave me alone. You have no right to wear that uniform. It Damn. belongs to someone who actually sacrificed their life for this country. Everybody's watching too. So don't lie to me. I want to ask you again. Where did you get that uniform? Do you know this guy? Where did you get that uniform? Dude, I don't owe you no explanation. I said, where did you get the uniform? You know what? Fine. I got it from the thrift shop. What does it mean to you? It's just uniform. It's not just a uniform. It represents something more than you ever understand. And I know what it means to make that sacrifice. You see, when I was younger, I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. College didn't really speak to me. And I wasn't ready to get a job. So when my brother told me about the army, I got really excited. A few months later, it was time for us to leave. Before we walked out the door, I remember my mom being so sad. We told her not to worry and promised her we'd be back. We both meant what we said, except only one of us kept that promise. We got ambushed. We were all heavily outnumbered and there wasn't much we could do. I'd never been so scared in my life. And then, that's when it happened. A grenade landed a few feet away. I froze, too scared to even run. We all thought it was over. But then, out of nowhere, my brother ran and jumped on top of the grenade. He sacrificed his own life so that we can live instead. My brother wasn't able to keep his promise to my mom. But I was, and so many other soldiers. All because of my brother. So you see, my brother sacrificed his life alongside so many he others his eyes. for the right to wear that uniform. So no, it's not just a uniform. You're laughing? I mean, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry for your loss. It's just, don't you think you're being a little bit overdramatic? I mean... Just because I'm not a real soldier does not mean that... Did you say you're not a real soldier? We want our money back. You know what? You can take your money. It's not like it's a lot of money anyways. And I'm taking this too. Shame on you. You owe me $500 for that discount. Or you can give me that laptop back. Okay. Here, take your little money. Get off my back. In fact, I want all y'all off my back. Like, fuck you. Thanks a lot. You happy now? Yes. Scamming bitch. I'm so sorry you had to see all that craziness. I really hope this does not compromise what you and I got going on. We, we have nothing going on, actually. Thank you. Bye. Did you know it's illegal to wear that? Oh. I mean, I've looked it up before. I mean, uh, a civilian could wear a military uniform. It is if you're trying to impersonate a member of the military. Especially for personal gains. Damn. Baby, how would you know? Because Baby. even though I didn't join the army, I did join the police force. Yo, chill, is this... <laughs> no, 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 no. You're under arrest. Come on, girl, stop playing. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say or do can and will be used wow. against you in the court of law. This cannot be happening. What's happening? This is not real, right? You cannot do this. Oh, to answer your question, I'm happy now. 
my lawyers on you. I'm gonna get my lawyers on this entire mall. Oh, what a stupid ass. Thank you so much. We had no idea he was pulling the wool over our eyes. We almost lost our son in Afghanistan. Luckily, somebody saved his life, and he was able to come back home. Was his buddy he was not saved him? Fort Bragg. That's why we try to help vets wherever we meet them. Mm. Mm, let me guess. It was his brother that saved. Yep. Guaranteed. So my brother and I were stationed. We would love to give you something for helping us and for your service. But it's Social Security. No, it's, uh, it's okay. Honestly, I'm not expecting anything back from you. We would love to take you two out to dinner and hear more stories about your son. Why are you arresting him? This man was impersonating an officer. So you're not a real soldier? <coughs> Liar! Don't call me. Yeah, that was awesome. I need to watch that again. <laughs> I'm sorry. That, that is fantastic. I was really hoping someone was knock him in the jaw. That's fantastic. I wish it showed the slap. It didn't turn away, but that's fantastic. I love that. Fanta Thank you, Darman. I love that. Liar! Don't call me. How many people did you lie to? I mean, can't, he, can't she also get in trouble for smacking him right in front of the police officer? Obviously, she doesn't give a fuck because, you know, he, he was being a douche. And he kind of kind of does her bit. So. My dad was actually retired from the chair because he got hit by a bomb and had to wear a battery in his back. Thanks for featuring this video, giving others reminders that soldiers should always be remembered. It can be some posture to fool everyone, and especially fooling up the real soldier. But that's... And again, this is true shit too. Fuck. The sad part that Ma has lost his brother during the war. For those who have fought for our country, thank you for your service. Yeah, just to, just knowing that he did all that for money and everything, and just to scamming everybody that he knows in it, like, pfft. I don't even know what to say. I'm just kind of, kind of, kind of at a loss for words, to be honest. Be, 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 be right back. Upstairs. But yeah, so like, I'm, 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 I'm at a loss for words to be honest. I'm so at a loss for words. I don't even know what to say about that. Like, I'm, I'm glad that he got caught. Like, imagine he never, like, he never, like, imagine he never made that come to light. You know what I mean? Like, what happens in the dark always comes to light. Like, the other day, I accidentally stole something from a store, and then, like, two, uh, two weeks later, because I felt bad when I bought the same item on sale, I, I paid for an extra one. Obviously, different from this, but yeah. Like, I, I even told my mom because I told my mom I'm gonna I'm gonna pay for an extra one and, and then she was like you don't have to and I was like what happens in the dark it always comes to light and, and then she kind of laughed at me so yeah and the fact he smiled when he said I almost lost my life and how he laughed after most of that story but as well just he has no respect exactly like how do you laugh in Roy eyes after that like I would knock him in the jaw right right then and there I'm not even a violent person but it would take a lot for me to not to be like mm -hmm. again I probably wouldn't want to because again. I wouldn't want to do that just because, again, you can get in trouble and all the crap and it's not worth it, but it's like, you definitely would, would want to knock a person like that right in the jaw because, like, that's just so bad. Like you, like, you can't do that. You can't do that. You shouldn't do that. That's just so fucked up. I don't even understand how you, like, live with yourself and sleep with yourself at night when you do that kind of, kind of crap. Like, people are literally dying and, pretend, sorry, not, not pretending, like, people are literally dying, sacrificing their lives, and then it's like, this guy just uh, this piece of garbage just basically said, "Oh, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna Im impersonate this person. I'll go fuck, like fuck you." Like I, I hope he gets hit by a bus for real, for real. I don't go fuck. I hope he gets hit by a train. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> um, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to go to like, be sure to comment down below, and be sure to subscribe for more videos like this. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Deuces, peace.